Important, too, is how this effort succeeded. Thanks to the leadership and contributions of many countries, the United States was proud to play a decisive role, especially in the early days, and then in su a supporting capacity. But let's remember that it was the Arab League that appealed for action. It was the world's most effective alliance, NATO, that's led a military coalition of nearly 20 nations. It's our European allies, especially the United Kingdom, and France, and Denmark, and Norway, that conducted the vast majority of airstrikes protecting rebels on the ground. It was Arab states who joined the coalition as equal partners. And it's been the United Nations and neighboring countries, including Tunisia and Egypt, that have cared for the Libyans in the urgent humanitarian effort that continues today. This is how the international community should work in the 21st century. More nations bearing the responsibility and the costs of meeting global challenges.